So yesterday was Blitz Day. You know, grab the knife, get some paint going, get excited, go in without a net, begin a painting. Sometimes I love to do that. It's just fun. Today is let's keep things under control a little bit day. So although I've added to the painting, I have changed a few things design-wise, and I needed to, before the paint that I had put on here got too dry, I needed to go in there and, and try to get some areas finished. So really what we're looking at is from here down to these trees is finished. This looks pretty finished to me. I might tidy it up a little. I don't think so. I don't want to get too tidy. I did stick a few little bushes in here. Uh, yeah, there's three trunks, three trees, three trees. Don't care. These aren't trees. They're shapes. They're entirely different than these shapes. So, uh, you know, as I mentioned, I think yesterday, I, I was thinking about putting a few young children trees here. And that's what I've done. Um, I still need to put the knife to them a little bit to darken some areas and lighten some areas, but the shapes are in place. They're still nowhere near as strong or as low a value as uh, the darks that I have over to the left. Oh, yeah, okay. I put, yeah, brought in some sky. I wanted some sky showing through. I had, when I came and looked at it this morning, I thought, you know, it's too much of a wall. And although it really is about the painting is about the close stuff. I still want the viewer to be able to look past it and look into the distance a little bit. So that's what, what's allowed here. You know, we've got sky represented by cobalt blue, ultramarine blue, and a bit of white. Uh, dirtied up with some yellow ochre. Dirtied up with some alizarin crimson in places. But for a few strokes, it's just cobalt blue, ultramarine blue, and white. So we see our sky coming in softly, not, not, not too important. Um, I had these trunks here, and that was horrible. For one thing, they were far too close to the center of the painting. Yeah, they weren't dead center, but they were still too close. And I had trunks running off the top edge of the painting. In this case, not a good idea. You can do that if your painting is about the tree trunks and no tree tops, where you have a whole series in a somewhat organized but disorganized looking fashion. That's not this painting. This painting isn't a painting like this. It's a painting like this. So um, I th I'm pretty happy with it so far. Quite happy with it actually. The t these aren't trunks just that are just going to stop in midair. I am going to have some foliage on the top. Likely, likely going to be lower values. Um, you know, because what I'll end up with, if I go with some greenery in this area, I end up with this, this general shape here. And the foreground will go like this. So in a sense, a line from here to here will point towards the focal area. And a line from here to here will point towards the focal area. Even though it's a very subtle indication of a line, it will be perceived as a line. It'll be seen as a line. Not quite an arrow, but close. Um, yeah, now I still have this, this thing going on, where the space between the ending of this dead stump here and the beginning of these trees, which are a little further away, that space is very much in the middle of the painting. I might still take a knife and add even a shorter, wider stump, maybe, maybe in here, or a stump, a shape of some sort. Might be the back side of a rock for all I know, or maybe it'll be here, or maybe just the fact that this line more or less below it will be much more dramatic, a much more dramatic difference between my lights and darks than, than between imaginary line here going up to these trees, which may all be light and be pushed back a little bit. So we would have a plane another plane, another plane, another plane, and another plane. It's a, uh, as I've said before, it's, 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 it's a journey. It's, 
it's in progress and it, it just never stops. It changes constantly. It's fluid. I love that. I love that. You're never, you're never in chains, you know, when you're doing a painting. You can see how it looks so far and you can make your decisions as you go. Sometimes it's necessary to uh, come up with a pretty concise plan. Usually on a, on a, the larger the canvas is, the more, the more firm your initial plan needs to be and the more you need to actually stick to that plan and vary it less. But this is only a 16 by 20 inch canvas and I'm using a knife. So, you know, it's not, it's not all kinds of tiny details and what have you. So I, can, I get to play with it. Um, I think that's it. Let me just stand up and back up and see if that looks okay. Yeah, all in all, that's okay. Um, let me just, let me just loosen the camera here so that I can zoom in on a few spots. So yeah, even though, you know, we have darker shapes, darkish shapes on the right hand side, which are going to actually get lighter in a few spots. The darkest and strongest are on the left hand side. Now you skip past that foreground because the foreground in this case mostly serves to frame the focal area and give perspective to the background. The background, as I mentioned yesterday, I've tapered off in my values and colors, well especially uh, not colors, uh, chromas, you know, values are fairly high, but the chromas have dropped. Um, but you can see that this is all very soft comparatively in the background now. Zoom in and it's messy as usual. But if I zoom in and it looks tidy, can you imagine how amateurish and anally retentive it's going to look if, if I made it tidy when you're up close? Never mind backing up. Again, that is coming from the perspective of a guy who likes impressionism, not realism. Realism is a totally, totally different animal. Okay, just thought I'd catch you up on what's going on. I'm going to keep playing. Uh, today has been another day of me um, sitting in front of my easel, going back to my computer. Sitting in front of my easel, going back to my computer. Going for a drive with my wife. That was nice. That was wonderful, actually. We went, went out for a great toodle. It, it has all the appearances and, and the feel of impending winter today. So, uh, and I did some work on my pickup truck, so we took it out for a ride, and, well, just getting out into nature a little bit. No, we don't go for a drive in the city. That's never going to happen. But uh, we head out to um, a lake or a creek or, ah, there are so many nice areas around here. Anyways, guys, that is it for now. Hope you have a good weekend. Talk to you soon.